Okay, in this problem, you're going to be given two points that a line is going to pass through on a graph, and you're going to be asked to write the equation for that line. Now, these equations can be written in a number of different forms, but specifically for this problem, you're being asked to put it in slope-intercept form, which can cause some issues because one of the things you do not have is an intercept. We can find the slope pretty quickly by using the slope formula, which has been taught in a previous video. Okay, but that y-intercept is the challenging part here, or the extra step that you may be learning. So pay close attention and follow along as we go through this. So first and foremost, we we're going to want to use y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This is going to be our slope formula. It's going to tell us what the slope of the line is, and then we're going to need to find the y-intercept some other way. So I like to label x and y x and y. This is my first term. This is my second term. So I'm going to take y2, which is a 1. I'm going to subtract negative 2, which is my y1. So 1 minus negative 2, which is really just adding. Then I'm going to take x2 minus x1, 6 minus 3, 6 minus 3. And I'm going to get 1 plus 2, which is 3, over 6 minus 3, which is 3 simplify that down. I now know my slope is 1. Okay, you have a couple options here. Now that you have the slope, you can write it in point slope form and convert it, but if you don't really like going about it that way, you have another option. I'm going to go through the option that I typically would use here. It's, I, I believe it's faster, a quicker way to figure out the y-intercept. Um, but then again, everybody has their own way of going through this. I can make another video where I show you the other method as well. So for this method, I'm going to write out y equals mx plus b, which is slope-intercept form. We know the slope is 1, so I can erase that m, and I'm going to put a 1 right there. Now, I need to find the b, the y-intercept. To write it in slope intercept form. I'm going to erase the x and put parentheses. I'm going to erase the y and I need to put a value for x and a value for y in place. That is algebra. I'm replacing what I now know. Okay, where am I going to get an xy? I can use these two values or I can use these two values. I don't like dealing with negatives if I can avoid them, so I'm going to use 6, 1. 6 is my x. So that's going to go right there. 1 is my y. That's going to go right there. And now I just need to solve for b. Or in other words, isolate b so that it's the only value. Excuse me. So isolate b so it's the only thing on the right side. So we're going to say b right there. All right. So I'm going to say 1 times 6, which is 6, plus b equals 1. Subtract 6. Cancels. Subtract 6. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. So now I have the b, or in other words, the intercept, and I already solved for the slope. So now I can write my equation out y equals mx plus b. m is the slope, so we're going to say 1 there. y equals 1x plus b. Well, it's a negative 5, so I'm going to say minus 5. This is your equation in slope-intercept form. I typically wouldn't put the 1 there, so if I was going to simplify everything, I would make it look like that. There you go. Taking two points, use the slope formula, find the slope, plug the slope in, replace the x and the y, isolate the variable b, and now you have the two pieces of information you need to write your equation out. Pretty hard, and good luck on your upcoming test.